Hello everyone, Reptrex here. As you can see, I'm back in FTB, ready for another episode. Uh, now, it's actually been a few days since I recorded an, an episode, but I've actually been playing uh, in the last, you know, during the week. It has been a hectic week, so I haven't been able to actually record. Uh, but pretty much what I've been doing during the week is trying to get this thing that I have in my hand. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a research note from Thongcraft, and it's taking me quite a bit of time to get it. Uh, I almost kind of gave up and thought it was a bug and uh, maybe thought of uh, spawning in a creative uh, research book because I thought it was just broken but I finally figured it out it took me way too long but here's my uh, Icor or Icor I don't know how you pronounce it but uh, Thumbcraft research for some pretty uh, badass end game materials so let's just get this research done Icor or Icor I don't know and uh, let's take a look at the research uh, Pretty much, this is uh, it says, uh, the expensive study in all subjects of stomatology. I don't know. Uh, you have discovered a substance that is what you consider to be the next step in your endeavors. This is extremely powerful substance. I would hope so. It has another star diamonds and all kinds of other fancy stuff, um, which you call Icor. I'm gonna call it Icor because that's how I think it's pronounced. Contains the raw awakened power of another star. You're sure you'll be able to put it to use. For countless devices in the future. All right. Uh, so pretty much, um, my problem with getting this research was um, that uh, first of all, you have to do everything. You have to research absolutely everything, and that's what I, I spent most of my week doing. Uh, whenever I had some free time, uh, the problem that I had is that pretty much everywhere I read in the forums and Reddit and just about every guy that looked up, it said that all you needed was the you know the 4.1 research, Thumbcraft 4.1, and then the Thomic Tinkering uh, research, which is the page I'm in right now. Uh, pretty much, you had to have all this research done before this would show up as an available thing you had to research. Uh, along those things you had to research, you also had to research a lot of the hidden um, research, like uh, magical mirrors or, or mirror magic. One of these was a uh, hidden one. Uh, brain in a jar was a uh, hidden one and pretty much the main problem is a lot of the things that you needed to uh, unlock those hidden ones was to um, uh, you had to scan certain things the problem is that I upgraded to 4.1 after I already had started the world and had already done quite a bit of uh, thumbcraft research uh, so a lot of the things I couldn't rescan so what I had to use was a lot of my knowledge fragments which luckily had enough and I actually believe only have a few left uh, yeah, 16 left, uh, and actually now just, you know, worth noting that if you try to make another no, uh, research note out of this thing, it says failed. It says you have to play, place it back in the crafting grid and it'll give you your f research notes back, or your knowledge fragment, I should say. Uh, so pretty much that's how I got all my uh, hidden ones, uh, because the, I think the only one that I could have done, that I didn't do before, was the, the Hellbat for the focus, this one right here. Uh, this guy right here. This was this was a hidden one as well. Nine, uh, one focus, nine hells. You have to um, scan a hell bat in the Nether. I just didn't feel like looking for one and trying to scan them because they're pretty nasty creatures that blow up on you and stuff. So I just used a research note since I had a few extra ones. Um, not like you have much of a choice since it's really really random the way the research notes work. Um, but uh, luckily I had enough uh, to do all the research. Now, um, I had a few issues, uh, mainly uh, I thought that I needed to get the, the dimensional shards, which apparently you have to kill the zombie pigments to get the red one, and Enderman uh, to get the other shard, which is actually one of the recipes for the, the Ikorium or Icar or whatever it's called. Uh, so uh, I thought I had to go to the end uh, and, you know, go where the end, uh, Ender Dragon is and go fight them and kill them and stuff and maybe that's one way to unlock it but um, it turns out it wasn't uh, my main issue was I had to also unlock AP Mancy which is just magic bees I believe and unlock everything here and then just this research which is pretty simple I was a bit scared when I saw just this I thought it was gonna be a bunch of things that would unlock as soon as I unlock uh, the, as soon as I researched this thing but it was just that one uh, so it wasn't too bad uh, some of the research ones here are a bit annoying and a bit weird like they show up just one item and all you have to do is just put one of the components of that item and that's it that's the research done uh, so that's a bit weird it threw me off uh, as far as the research goes if you guys didn't know 
So I'm just trying to... The reason I'm telling you guys all this, I'm rambling for like five minutes now, uh, is because uh, I had to go search everywhere for this information. And a lot of places was just kind of people guessing. Um, so if you're in the same situation as I am, you upgraded to Thumbcraft 4.1 after you already had done some research and you might encounter some of these issues, um, it's worth noting to make sure you uh, research everything, including this stuff. Uh, a lot of people say that you don't need to because it depends on the order that FTB launches the mods. Um, I guess in my case, it launches uh, tinkers, I mean, atomic tinkering after those, and that's why you have to research these before. I don't know, some kind of odd uh, explanation that I found online. Uh, either way, just do all the research and uh, you should be fine. Uh, it did, I did spend quite a bit of time doing it. Um, but yeah, that's that for now. And also, also probably by telling by the episode uh, title, I'm gonna go fight the Ender Dragon and get myself some dimensional shards. That's a, at least a DM already prepared. I already found the portal, so it's just it shouldn't take very long at all. Um, shouldn't be too much of a pain. Actually, there's a few other things I wanted to discuss before I go over there because it, it, it I think will be the, towards the end of the episode that I'll go fight him and that will be you know cut <laughs> end of the episode because it will go into the into the credits. Uh, so what I want to do is discuss a few things I've done over here as far as Ars Magica goes. Uh, at the end of, well not the end of the last episode, in the, the, the comments of the last episode, somebody mentioned uh, to not use uh, my healing and regen spells to level up. Now if I get my spell book, which I guess I should probably mention how you make it, it's pretty simple. Uh, spell book, this guy right here, it's just leather, string, and paper. Uh, so pretty basic recipe. Um, I think you have to have it unlocked though, I'm not really sure. Uh, and then pretty much this guy can, uh, if, you, if you hold shift and right click, it shows all the spells you have. These are all the, the ones I've made over time just to try to level up uh, better. Uh, Red Bull is just pretty much a bunch of buffs, uh, speed, jumps, uh, swim boosts, a bunch of buffs pretty much. That's all that Red Bull is really. <laughs> uh, I don't know, that's what came to mind when I thought of a bunch of buffs. Um, drunk is something that I thought would help with my issue, which is pretty much since I used a lot of regen heal to level up, um, as you guys can see I'm level 32 already, my affinity, if you go here, uh, is way at high, fast healing pacifist. Now it doesn't sound too bad until you actually look it up in your um, compendium, and pretty much, uh, you know, to sum it up, uh, if you kill any mobs, it gives you, um, kind of like a, a side effect. You, you get nauseated, I guess, because you're such a pacifist. If you kill any, any mob, even if it's a hostile mob, you get nauseated. Now, that is very annoying. It makes your screen all blur, you know, it's a nauseating buff, or whatever you want to call it, or debuff, I guess should be. Um, so it's very annoying, especially since I have it that high. Uh, it, ha it happens very often. Uh, now, one of the things I, look, I had to look up to actually figure out, pretty much they kind of counteract, this is the dark um, uh, affinity, I guess, and they kind of counteract each other. So if I were to get this one higher, I believe that's one way to get it down, but it's extremely slow uh, going down. Now, I found a way, I uh, actually read it, doing some research, that if you use the spell called Disarm, which is what I have activated at the moment, this one, I just used the projectile, disarm spell, and... Uh, that's over here under utilities, I believe it was. Yeah, this one right here, disarm. Um, so you know you gotta make sure you have the all the things unlocked for that. Um, and you use that spell on a dark mage. It gives you a, a tome, which I have a bunch of them here. Affinity tome none. Uh, so pretty much I looked up what it does, and pretty much what it does is it clears your affinities. Uh, it's great if you're just gonna spam a lot of certain spell that just it works for you. I know you want to do spam it every now and then when you're doing something else around the base. Like regen, you don't have to actually use it on a mob. Uh, it comes in very handy because then you can negate the the bad things, I guess, from um, from uh, yeah, the affinity that you got. Was that lightning or a moonstone that just landed somewhere? That was awfully loud. Um, right, so I'm just gonna right click this guy and see. Uh, uh, it did a bit, so that's why I'm I'm glad I got a bunch of these, because it was actually quite easy to get them. 
but what wasn't easy was to actually find a dark mage. I uh, had to fly around and look at night and we just kind of spawned and got lucky there. Um, well, I guess not really lucky. I just spent about 10 minutes looking for him, so I guess I could have gotten a little bit luckier. Um, so I guess what I want to see here is how much does it actually go down. Um, I didn't notice it go down much, really. 63.41. 63.41. Uh oh, that's not good. I didn't actually try it before the episode, but uh, I mean, everything worked as it should. I used the disarm spell, uh, dark mage, and it gave me affinity tome none. Uh, mm. All right, let's look at the compendium because I did unlock something as soon as I got this guy. Maybe it tells me something about um what it is. Um, life, maybe Ender? Affinity Tome Ender. Uh, Affinity Tomes contain three reports and information gathered by Magi. Uh, over your years, blah blah blah. Give you 10% boost to that specific affinity while st simultaneously reducing your progress on all other affinities by 10%. Huh. Um, I don't see the none Affinity Tome. But, um, oh, this one. General. Uh, the, the general affinity tome is special in that it can unlock a locked affinity state. It will reduce all affinity progress by 10% without boosting any of them. So, it should be reducing them by 10%, but it's not doing. You know what? I'm going to use all 16. It should have taken it down some substantially, but it didn't do much at all. Hmm. I wonder if maybe I have to relog. I'll just leave that for later. Uh, so obviously there's a bit more to do here. Um, I thought it was just that simple, and I got a 32 of them. Thought it was gonna be plenty. I already used 16, and still hasn't gone down. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, uh, so I have to look up exactly how to use it. Maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong, or maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. Either way, uh, I still have to figure out what's going on there because it's a bit annoying, especially since you have to. Uh, I'm trying to get into the whole adventure side of Ars Magic of fighting bosses and stuff. Uh, it is a bit annoying. Oh, something else I almost forgot to mention. Uh, since I got level 32, I also unlocked a new boss, uh, Earth Guardian. But I want to leave this guy to later when I get a better uh, Thumbcraft magic and stuff. Uh, it doesn't seem too hard to summon him since it doesn't require a particular bio. But I need to find a certain s space for him. I'm almost thinking I could do it in my Wither uh, Arena area. Seems like maybe it wor might work in there. Uh, I'll have to test it out, if, see if the warding works. Uh, try it out in like single player or something. I mean, well, this is single player in the in my test world, I should say, and see maybe that works. Um, right, but that's not the focus of the episode. I'm almost at 13 minutes or thereabouts, uh, so I think it's almost time to head out and kill the end dragon. Uh, but something else I'm almost forgot to mention here is the essence refiner. Uh, this guy you use it to make essences. Um, I need an air essence to for one of my spells, and I should mention one of the complications I had with that. Um, the reason I've skipped so much of the Ars Magica stuff is I figured I already did like three episodes of Ars Magica, and if you kind of consider this one, it was like 3.5 episodes because I've been rambling on about Ars Magica a lot already, as it is. Um, air essence, um, pretty much you get it by using essence refiner uh, with Tarma roots, feathers, and arcane ash. Arcane ash was already. I think I already made this on episode before. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. Uh, you smelt it and then you put it in the essence refiner. Now the thing I had a bit of an issue with was Tarma roots. Um, because it says they have to find them dark in the caves, uh, I tend to ignore them. Um, so I never really got any and actually going caving just to look for roots wasn't very uh, efficient at all. Um, so what I came up with, uh, and actually read this somewhere, um, if you use bone meal on grass, it, um, did I actually completely forget to mention how much it changed things outside? <laughs> I think I did, because it's been so many, so many days, I think I completely forgot to mention how much it changed things outside here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've done away with the whole farm. Uh, done away with the cow pens and stuff making noises over there and uh, changed a bit the look here um, how the stairs were made 
so kind of I don't know changed a few things um, mainly aesthetics really nothing really major um, so that's probably why I forgot um, I have actually a little tiny notepad here on my desk trying to, like where I wrote down all the things I'd done and completely overlooked that um, right so pretty much if you go over here I don't want to do it there because it's kind of nice if you do it here um, eventually you'll get some uh, some of that dark root uh, obviously if you have a sickle then you can clean this up and then do it again uh, but what I found actually worked a lot better was if you go with uh, somewhere where it's really dark and normal grass doesn't spawn the only thing that will spawn is that tarmac root so what I did is over here this is actually completely dark in here this is where my uh, my berries grow uh, and I set this area up with my uh, silk touch hammer I actually picked up a bunch of grass and uh, was it no yeah my, my excavator I forgot I had silk touch on that thing uh, either way I put some grass blocks down here and pretty much you spam it. It does use a lot, of, uh, a lot of bone meal to get a few of them, but it will eventually work. Oh, come on, don't make me a liar. I did get a few of these. There it is. Uh, so it does take a bit of bone meal, but it's a lot better than going. There you go. Okay, that, that was a bit better. Um, it is a lot better than going caving looking for roots. Um, at least that way you can just randomly, you know, not randomly, just spam click your right click button with your bone meal, and then you get a few of them. And should work. Obviously, you can automate it, but uh, you don't quite you don't use them quite as often uh, to make uh, a whole system worthwhile. I think maybe l later down the line you need it more, and then it will make more sense. Uh, right. So I have a portal here that will take me way over there, which is where my end my end portal is. It's an, almost a thousand blocks away. Um. So let's just grab this guy and head over here. And yeah, that's so cool. It saves so much time. Uh, I only need one more Ender Eye. There you go, and now it's ready. Um, don't believe in anything particular here. Don't really feel like using any spells. I do want to use this guy. I did make myself a primal charge, I mean, primal focus, but it doesn't seem to be as efficient as it should. <laughs> At least that's what, what I've noticed. Uh, I do like this guy though. It's a lot. If, I mean, it's very efficient, especially with the enchantments I have on it. All right, so I think I'm ready. Um, I do want to set myself a book. Um, put this guy away. Put this guy here. All right, so let's just hop over there, and that way I can hop to the end straight from my uh, room. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, so let me just put this guy down here. Get my Lincoln book. And then put that away. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's find this Ender, Ender Dragon. Or Ender. Ooh, wow. There's a lot of Ender Leaf seeds around here. Hey, what do you want? Oh, I should probably destroy all the stations but what is up with my graphics it's like it's like wow oh, I know where it is um nope that's flight control that's that nope that's the wrong key again or what is it night vision H oh it's the wrong key bind alright let's do let's do a different key Leave me alone. Um, let's see, let's try I. See if that works. Ah, there you go. Okay, a lot better. Um, Alright, let's find all these things and blow them up real quick. It is so much better than using maybe a bow like from vanilla. That was a weird effect that uh, Night Vision was doing here. Um, I think there's only one more over here. Oh, there's a couple more over here. Alright, that seems to... Wow, there's more? Holy crap. Alright, that seems to clear it up. Let's just double check way out here. This is a rather large island. This is kind of nice. Um, 
Alright, guy, get over here. I could use flight control, but I find it easier to go up and down with my uh, space bar. Alright, don't go die way out there. Get over here. Whoa. He's hauling ass. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm out. Am I? It's not. It's not working though. All right, so I might have to use my nano saber now because my uh, yeah, it's not working. All right, what about if I fly really fast? Haha, I'm faster than anybody. <laughs> this is so OP. It is a bit boring, I must say, because uh, there should definitely be more challenging bosses. Uh, maybe I'm hoping with Ars Magic it won't be. Oh, the clouds are solid, apparently. Um, but yeah, I hope Ars Magic makes it a challenge to use all these mods, because they're definitely overpowered compared to the vanilla stuff. I think it was my Tekken series that I uh, killed the End Dragon as my season finale, which I've actually already gone past the ep uh, episode count, uh, I think it was, I only got to episode 56 in that series, and there's, I believe, episode 61, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, guy, get over here. So that's pretty cool. The season's going, I think it's going pretty good. I've had a lot of issues, a lot more issues than I usually have, with uh, problems with the map and reset chunks and stuff like that. Alright, come on. He is not easy to hit. Oh, come on, one more last. Wow, come on, one last hit and he's still hauling ass. I don't want to kill him over there, I just want to kill him. There it is. Alrighty. That noise is scary. Lots of levels. Levels everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, level 62 already. Cool. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Ooh, I don't want to get in there now. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get those, um... What are they called? Um, the shards. So what I'm gonna do between the episode is, uh... Find out how to get those shards. And uh, I think next episode I want to dedicate it completely to um, Thumbcraft. Now that I have the research done, uh, I'll do a bit of research between episodes because I don't want to waste too much time doing the actual research, but then like the actual crafting of the things, I'll probably do it on, on actual video. Um, that way I do some things for a change because I'm kind of tired of doing too much Ars Magic to be honest. But the main focus here, it, it is to go back to Ars Magica and get a lot of those uh, uh, bosses down and kill them all. Um, I think if I use a piston, I can get that dragon egg off. I'll just do that later. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.